Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to another video. So today I have my October favorites for you. Um, most of these products I just hauled in my haul that was before this video. It was a huge makeup haul and I did film that makeup haul like a couple of weeks ago. So this stuff I did use the entire month of October, but I had just put that one up yesterday because I had just finished editing it and everything. So most of these products you guys are going to be like, Brittany, you just got those. How can they be your October favorites? No, I didn't just get these. That was a collective haul of makeup, and I have been using all of these products literally every single day in the month of October, and I am just in love with every single one of them. So I'm just gonna go straight on to the makeup because there is quite a few products here. Very first thing being something that I'm wearing right now. Love, 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 and love. This stuff is so gorge, I can't even talk about it. Well, I'm gonna talk about it. This is the BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream by Gerard Cosmetics. This is a gorgeous illuminizer that you can mix in with your foundation and also just wear it alone. I did not get this sent to me, I purchased this on my own and I love Gerard Cosmetics. I'm not sponsored. I'm really just a lover of Gerard Cosmetics. It's a great makeup brand. They have awesome lip glosses and lipsticks. I just love that brand. So moving on to another Gerard Cosmetics product that I'm wearing right now and this is by far one of my favorite lip glosses that I have in my entire collection and it is in the color Shimmer of Hope. It is such a versatile kind of nudie pink lip gloss that is very very pigmented and it looks good with almost any lipstick or lip liner that you use with it, it looks amazing. I usually will use it with one of my Urban Decay lip liners and my two favorites are Deep and Liar. This one is the Deep, Liar is in my collection somewhere back there, but they're, the Liar is like a little bit more of like a pinky kind of nude and then this one is more of that like brownish shade. And I am wearing the, this one right here on my lips today and this is what it looks like in the packaging. It's a very nice um, lip liner. I love these lip liners. I think they are by far one of my favorite, favorite lip liners that I've ever used. They honestly glide on so smoothly and pretty and if you're not good at lining your lips, because I used to be terrible at that, these are a perfect liner for you. They are just, the way that they glide on honestly doesn't make it as hard as you would think it would be. With MAC, uh, if any of you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know down below, but MAC lip liners are so hard to put on your lips like I don't know if it's just me it probably is I really don't know but I'm just not good at lining my lips and MAC lip liners don't make it any easier for me I feel like they are so hard and not creamy and they're really dry and they just they're they're pretty and they're pigmented but they're just not good for people who are bad at lip lining so yeah I have a ton of MAC lip liners but I honestly don't really like them compared to the Urban Decay and I only have two of these just my lip, right? I just found out about those lip liners, so <laughs> I'm gonna be buying more, definitely. Um, now moving on to some eye products, two things that I'm wearing right now. This is my YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I love this mascara so much. This is the first mascara that I will put on my eyelashes, so I do have it on today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then to kind of bring all of my lashes together and make it have more volume, I will use the Dior Show Exhaust Mascara. This is also a relatively new mascara that I got as well. It was in my haul video. So if you guys haven't checked out my haul, it will be linked down below and I'm literally hauling all of these products. They're great. Um, but this is what the brush looks like. It's a little bit different than a normal brush that people use and mascara wands come in. Um, it's kind of weird. I wasn't sure about it, but I did use a tester of this first and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to purchase them. Now moving on to a face primer that I also have on today. This is by Hourglass and it is the Mineral Veil. I had been obsessed with the Benefit Professional for a really, really long time. I was like, this is my staple primer. I'm never going to go to anything else. And then I decided to just kind of venture out and use testers that the Sephora ladies have given to me. And I have a ton of testers, so I'm like, I might as well put these to use. They're expensive products, and they did put this in a tester for me, so I need to try them. And I did, and this happened to be one of the testers, and again, I fell in love. I had to buy it right after I finished using the tester of this. It was a great, great primer. I mean, you put this on your skin, and you're like, you're rubbing it in, and you pat it, and when you pat this into your skin, it immediately dries and gets super matte. It really just blurs out all your imperfections. 
goes right into your pores. It is just amazing. And I don't mean like goes into your pores as in like it's clogging them. I mean like goes into your pores as in it just smoothly goes over them so your pores are not visible when you're wearing your foundation. So if that makes sense to you, it's just so pretty. It like makes your foundation look so nice and I'm obsessed with this too. So if you guys counted how many times I said obsessed, leave that down below because I know I say the word obsessed a lot but I just, I really am obsessed with all these products. Okay, now moving on to this NARS concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. I love this concealer. It is just what it says. Very creamy, very easy to blend. Amazing. I actually have had a few of these. And this is what the color, I do get the Chantilly one, um, which is usually the one that's sold out, so I do get this online because it's never in my store whatsoever. But this is the shade that I get. I like to put it underneath my eyes or on my nose. And do you see how pretty that, it just like blends like so perfectly. I know you probably can't even see that it's there anymore, but because my skin is so white. But on my face, I am much more tan, and I do use a pretty tan foundation. So when I put this underneath my eyes, it just makes my eyes look really bright, and the look that I love, I love really highlighted face and look. And I put this on my nose, my chin, everywhere. It's amazing. And then for a brow product that's actually pretty new to me, I did not know about this until I seen it on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Instagram. This is the brow pen. So it's very, very new to me, but I did use it the majority of October. And so it looks like this, and it really is just like a pen. Very fine tip. And it comes in, I think, two shades. The shade that I got is the Universal Light Shade. Then, moving on to a face product. This is something that was also in my haul video. This is the Philosophy Total Matteness. And it is a mask, but you can also use this, oh God, it has water in it just my luck, right? So it is a face mask, but you can also use this as a facial scrub for morning and night. Um, it is for enlarged pores. It says it absorbs oil and minimizes shine for a total matte smooth touch finish. Uh, glacial clay, which is what this is, glacial clay. Um, it helps unclog enlarged dark pores to reduce their appearance. And the unique texture gently foams to deeply cleanse daily. And it says it multitasks as a weekly purifying mask for enhanced results. So you can use this every single day if you want, and just like massage it into your skin, and voila, we have very nice, matte, smooth skin. And you do that for like 30 to 60 seconds. And then if you wanna use it for a mask, you just Make sure your face is really dry and, well, completely dry, and then you will just put the mask over your skin and then it will really suck out the impurities and you leave it on, of course, for longer. So around five to 10 minutes with the mask. So it's really cool, you can use it either way. Um, I did try using this mask every single day for like massaging into my skin for the 30 to 60 seconds and using it at night. But I did notice that my skin was really matte, but since it was turning it so matte, that I was starting to get some breakouts, so I wasn't a fan of that, but I do use this as a mask, and it is amazing as a mask. It really just dries out your impurities, it really dries out your oiliness, and if this, if you have oily skin, this stuff is amazing. Anything by Philosophy, I live by Philosophy. I use their moisturizer, their serums, their face wash, their masks, like everything. I am just sold on Philosophy. If you got sensitive skin, this is your new brand, you need to try it, amazing. All right, now moving on to some, oh no, I do have one more makeup product. I do have it on my eyes right now. And that is the new Vice 3 palette. So it comes in this little cute bag, like so. And it says Urban Decay. I love that it came in a bag because it's perfect for this. And then this is what the packaging looks like. Super, super pretty, I love the packaging. That's really what drew me to this, but the colors. So this is what the colors look like. And as you can tell, there are some really bright colors and you're like, when the heck would you use those? You know what I mean? But honestly, I created this eye look that I have on right now and I got a lot of compliments on that today. My mom was even like, what eyeshadows are you wearing? Like, I'm loving that eye look. And honestly, she doesn't really say that much about my eyeshadow looks because she's not a fan of when I wear a lot of makeup. You know, moms, they don't, they're like, oh, you're natural beauty, who? But um, my mom really complimented me on my eyes today and she really loved the shadow. So for my mom to say something is like a huge thing because one, she's very picky, and two, she does not like a lot of makeup or eyeshadow. So that was pretty shocking and I had to say like, 
thank you to this baby right here. But it is a very pretty eyeshadow palette. I did create this light look, like I said. Moving on to some random favorites. I have a candle, of course, because we are in the fall time and we are starting to get into the colder months. So I do have a very festive candle from Bath & Body Works. And it is the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. And it says, enjoy a marvelous mixture of two of fall's most delicious scents as sweet, smooth caramel swirls and fresh pumpkin. So all my favorite things. It just smells like heaven on earth. Now another random favorite is my coffee that I've been loving. This is the Archer Farms Candy Corn, the sweet fun flavor of your favorite Halloween treat. So I did get this around, you know, Halloween time of course, and I got this from Target. This is the a light roast coffee. First of all, it totally smells like candy corn, like which is heck of weird because like a coffee that smells like candy corn, I mean like they, they were on point with this one. Um, it tastes like candy corn. I love candy corn, so if you love candy corn, try this out. I know it is limited edition. It says limited time only, so I know they don't always have this, but I honestly have had this actually since last year, but I did see it again at Target this year. So run to your nearest Target, go pick this stuff up. It is amazing. I use this in my Keurig, and I just put it in one of these little, like, pothole things, I don't, I don't even know what they're called, but it is for a Keurig, you can buy them at Target too, and then you just scoop about two scoops of the coffee inside of the little thing, put it in your Keurig, and it'll brew ready to go. It's amazing, and it totally tastes like fall in a cup. Now moving on to another drink favorite. I do have my Zevias, and I've actually like known about these for a really, really long time, and I did drink them a lot like last year and I don't know what happened I kind of just like sifted away from them and stopped drinking them but I fell in love all over again I was having a craving for like a carbonated soda which hardly ever happens to me but once you have these you'll have that craving a lot more because they taste just like soda they're zero calories they're sweetened naturally with Zevia I love Zevia, it's the best thing on earth. I'm so happy it was made. Um, and it's just really, really good. This tastes just like root beer. They do have a ginger ale one, which I have in my fridge right now, and a cream soda one, which is actually one of my favorites. It tastes really like sweet and kind of like desserty, so I love that one. But they only have that one at Whole Foods um, near me, and that's like 30 minutes away. So the closest ones to me are like the root beer one and like ginger ale and Sprite and kind of like the simpler ones. But when I can get the cream soda one, I honestly do because that one's by far my favorite. And then the last favorite, and it is a food favorite, is these Cliff Bars. So I think they did come out with these just um, for the month of October because it's like a limited edition one. They're seasonal flavors. So I do just like the seasonal flavors mostly. I mean, I do like Cliff Bars, like the other flavors, but these ones are by far my favorite. And this was in iced gingerbread. They do have like a pumpkin spice one and then they have like a eggnog one I think like I've seen and they just have all like the seasonal holiday flavors and they're so good I love them so I like to have those in the morning like I'm most likely gonna have this one tomorrow morning when I before I go to school because I don't always have time to make a healthy breakfast like actually cook so these are what I like to have in the morning with my coffee and I'm just like ready to go to school and it's a fast little kind of breakfast to get my metabolism going so that's everything for my favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it was a tad bit late forgive me on that but I did have to get it up for you guys because I haven't missed a month yet this year so knock on wood I do not want to miss a month we only have what two more months November December I can do it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for more videos I make videos every single week and yeah I will see you guys next time bye